REZ 2014-03, Dollar General, Hudson Highway and Jumping Gully Road. Quit from R10 to CG, Mr. Danforth. Yes, sir. This one is a request to turn three residential lots into one lot for the commercial development of Dollar General. We've been working with the same group that we've seen on previous agendas. It's just a different location. Uh, with that, we took it to staff and also a planning commission. Uh, no one spoke against the request. We had the applicant and the representative speak for it, but ultimately we present it to you with uh, both recommendations for it. Any questions for Mr. Dad? Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Sorry. Um, Jason, the, um, one of the concerns with some of the Dollar Generals that have gone up and with the aesthetics, um, I know the planning commission addressed that, but did the applicant seem agreeable to make some of the changes that have been suggested for some of the other dollar generals that have gone on a different type of siding or maybe i think that the one over on the corner of uh bay tree and melody lane is a, a really good example of what you'd like for one of those to, to look like of course it's in a more urban mm -hmm. environment but did, has that been discussed at all yes the planning commission um, did ask about the aesthetics i'll be honest even though that I think they were open to doing something, I don't think they've committed to any type of prototype or making any changes to what they plan on putting there. Most of the discussion turned from aesthetic to the size, just to see how big the site was and what scale they were doing. I believe the Bay Tree Road example is consistent with the size they're proposing for this one, but the aesthetics, I, I will get with them on that and tell them that you, you would, you're asking questions about that, but I don't think they've committed to do anything differently they agreed to use a different siding on the one that's going to go on North 41. It's not going to look like the one on Bay Tree, but it's, it's a more decorative siding. So I would be interested in talking to them about that. And one other question really quickly. Um, have any of the, the neighbors objected to this development that you're aware of? No, sir. We, we have not had, um, you know, beyond maybe basic phone calls, checking in about what's going on. No one spoke against it. And I'm not aware of any opposition to this request. Any other questions, Mr. Patton? Hearing none, we'll move.